All right, so as part of our approach to digital citizenship across the curriculum, one of the things that we need to do is to make sure that our students are critical thinkers and that they question what they see and read, particularly on the internet, with news stories or other articles that they might find. Google's released two new tools that can actually help verify whether or not something that they find on the internet is actually truthful or, or correct. Let's have a look. Right, so the first one we'll have a quick look at is Google's Fact Check Explorer. It uses independent fact checking organizations to actually provide information about whether something that's been sort of circulating on the internet is actually factual or not. So it's in beta at the moment, so not, you're not gonna get results for everything that you try and look up, but you can type in the name of someone or uh, a key search phrase around a particular event. So for example, if I wanted to, see what's being said about Scott Morrison. For those of you who don't know, he's the Prime Minister of Australia. So it's got the various claims that he's been making recently and the independent fact-checking organisations which are listed over here are actually saying whether or not the, the statements are true or uh, you know, it's a mixture of, of, of uh, fact or whatever. Uh, and then there's some that were actually out as, as false. And so you can sort of see which organisations are actually helping to verify whether or not the statement is, is true or not. The other tool that Google have released that you may have noticed, but I wasn't sure what it was, when you've actually searched on something, you'll notice next to the actual web link here, there's these three dots. So what you do is you go ahead and you click on those three dots and it gives you information about the publisher of that information. So you can sort of then use that to help decide whether or not it's going to be a reliable source. So this one, for example, all they're saying is it was indexed 10 years ago. All right, so they've been around for a while. But then if you look at something like abc.net, all right, the Australian broadcaster, all right, so that gives you a bit more certainty that the information is probably reliable. So digital literacy is everybody's business. It's not just a tech department, it's not just a media literacy center. And so what we've been able to show you are two tools that you can share with students to help them to actually be critical thinkers and to question what they're seeing on the internet and to actually decide whether or not it is reliable and trustworthy. All right, have a good one.